The top story on ABC News Breakfast, Attorney General Nicola Roxon says three Australians who illegally boarded a Japanese whaling vessel at the weekend could face criminal charges in Japan. The government is trying to secure their release. The Greens are calling for the Prime Minister to personally intervene in this dispute. Green Senator Rachel Seawitt joins us now from the ABC's Perth newsroom. Good morning. Good morning. Now, Nicola Roxon has just told us here on ABC News Breakfast that according to the federal government's advice, these three men broke the law. They broke Japanese domestic law in Australia's exclusive economic zone. So based on that, they really have to bear the consequences of their action, don't they? Well, the problem here, of course, is these protests have taken action because our federal government has refused to take action. That boat is in an Australian whale sanctuary. The government days ago should have asked the Japanese government to get that vessel out of an Australian whaling sanctuary. That vessel was supporting whaling operations in an Australian whaling sanctuary. It should have been told a long time ago it was not welcome in our waters and asked to leave. Australia, like every other country on the planet or most other countries, subscribes to international law. Rachel Seward, under international law, these men broke the law. Do you condone their actions? When um, in, you're in a situation like this where people are, feel very strongly, as if Australians feel very strongly about whaling activity and the, the Australian government was well on notice that unfortunately because that they were failing to take action that tensions were simmering, particularly here in Western Australia when people saw the two Sea Shepherd vessels come into port shadowed by a Japanese government vessel that was clearly there to intimidate, was provocative and was in fact insulting to Australia and Australian people. They knew very well what they were doing in an Australian whaling sanctuary and unfortunately because the Australian government has been so lacklustre in its response, these protesters have felt that they've had to take matters into their own hands. Those pe it is a very worrying situation that they have now placed themselves in but these people feel so strongly about it that they have taken this action. Australian, the Australian government having failed to act to protect the whales must now take every action possible to ensure the safety of these prote these protesters. And we'll get to what actions the government may take shortly, but going back to the original question, do you condone these men's actions? Well, I think there's a lot of Australians that actually have a lot of sympathy but for I'm these protesters. But I'm asking you, Senator Seward, do, 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 you, do, you, do as, you condone the men's actions? As do we. We have a lot of sympathy for these protesters because they feel that they have been forced into it because there has, the Australian government has taken no other action and they were seeking to stop this vessel again shadowing the Sea, the sea Shepherd back to the southern waters to stop them taking action to prevent whales being taken in the southern oceans. Unfortunately, it's the Sea Shepherd is the only body that's actually managed to stop whaling and whales being taken in our southern oceans. Australians expect better of their federal government the federal government has failed to act on numerous occasions during this season to take action to slow down and to stop the whaling activity. For example, not sending a customs vessel down to the Southern Oceans, not taking a, an injunction out to try and stop the whaling activity and not taking action during last week when this vessel entered Australian waters, entered Australian uh, whale sanctuary to start uh, to, in order to shadow and intimidate Sea Shepherd. What can the Prime Minister do if we are looking at international law here other than making representations to her counterpart in Japan? Really, these men, if Japan does take them back to Japan, are at the mercy of the Japanese justice system. Uh, and, I, and I believe that the protesters would have been aware of that possibility when they entered, uh, when they took the action that they took. But the Prime Minister needs to be talking to the Japanese government, asking them or, uh, requesting very strongly that that ship returns to an Australian port. Obviously they'll need permission to enter an Australian port given that they're supporting whaling activity but on this occasion that's, that's required. That, that boat should, ent should then bring back those protesters to uh, Fremantle and then leave Australian waters and head back to Japan as sh of course should the whole of the whaling fleet. The Attorney General was also telling us, Rachel Seaworth, that she uh, believed the sending of a customs vessel, which a lot of um, anti-whaling activists want to see done to monitor the conflict, could, in her view, exacerbate the situation. What's your response to that? No, I think that if the Australian government had sent that vessel down straight away, like they did last time, 
that that would have acted as a, acted as a calming influence in a situation that the, that the Japanese government has clearly inflated by sending down the Shona Maru to. The reports are that it has razor wire around it, that people are dressed in minis, mi, uh, military style regalia and that uh, reports are that they're armed. That was inflaming the situation. If the Australian government had sent down a customs vessel to monitor the situation, to overview the situation, to gather evidence, that would have acted as a calming influence on a very tense situation in the Southern Oceans. The Australian government should not be surprised, unfortunately, that they're at the situation we're at because they had failed to take action and because of the very provocative action that has been taken by the Shana, the Shana uh, Maru, the way it has followed up the two Sea Shepherd uh, vessels and was clearly hanging off the port of Fremantle, waiting for the Steve Irwin to go back to the Southern Oceans to recommence um, their activity to try and stop uh, whales being taken. As I said, the, uh, the, this is the only organisation that is actually stopping whales being taken. It was successful in previous seasons and the reports are that whales have not been taken to date in this season. Um, it's unfortunate that the federal government has, un has left it up to the Sea Shepherd to take that action because they have been prevar prevaricating on taking effective action. Well, I think both sides are guilty of provocative actions on, the, on this front. Finally, Senator, have you got any information from the group involved as to the condition of the three men in question? No, I'm, I'm purely going on what's being reported um, in the media. Um, they're being, as I understand, um, their uh, communications equipment has been taken from them. The reports are that they're, they're supposedly being kept uh, safely, but I have had no uh, intelligence other than what's being reported in the media. Okay, Rachel Seward, I appreciate you getting up to speak very early to us from Perth. Thank you. Thank you.